Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can control fire with your hands. Now the comic book world is filled with characters that can actually control fire, whether with their thoughts through pyrokinesis or with their hands. But today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually achieve this in real life. And we're going to be doing it through the power of electricity. Now this is called a Wimshurst machine and it can generate extremely high voltages. All you have to do is crank the handle at the back and then you get sparks that form. And these are actually giant sparks. So it takes around 10,000 volts per centimeter of air to electrically break it down. So that means that these are around five centimeters apart, so this is at least 50,000 volts between the two ends here. Let's try to stick my finger in between here. So the path of the electricity is only gonna go directly through my finger, it's not gonna go through my body at all because these are the two positive and negative ends here. So this shouldn't really hurt me besides feeling a slight jolt and shock through the very end of my finger. Ow. So the Wimshurst machine works through electrostatic induction. It charges these metallic plates here. As they turn, they get more and more charged and the charge gets picked up by these really sharp points here and the points charge these Leyden jars on the end until eventually a dielectric breakdown of the air happens and they neutralize. So it's cool enough to be able to generate five centimeter sparks just by cranking this but what's even cooler is what happens when you put a flame near it. Okay now watch this flame as I crank the Wimshurst machine. Watch what happens to it. See how it's straight up now, but when I start to spin it. Now there's no wind happening here. In fact, I can make it actually go the opposite way if I start, if I make this one be the negative electrode now. See, there we go. <laughs> Now what's really interesting, because fire is a plasma, it can actually induce a dielectric breakdown of the air. So if we set these electrodes far enough apart, the voltage isn't high enough to dielectrically break down the entire gap of air here. But watch what happens if I stick some fire in between it. Okay, so look how far apart they are now. I can't get them to spark, but watch what happens when I bring the fire near it. So the fire was able to help induce a spark across a really large spark gap. That's because some of the electrons in fire are already stripped off their molecules. And so it generates a chain reaction. Once some electrons come off of their molecules, it hits other electrons that break them off and that creates this dielectric breakdown of the air that spreads the spark across the gap there. So what's cool about this is you'll notice that the fire was attracted to one of the electrodes and repelled from another of the electrodes. So what if I was able to, instead of charging these electrodes, what if I charge my body to 50,000 volts? Then I'd be able to control fire itself. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be hooking myself to the positive electrode of the Wimhurst machine here. So I'm going to be completely positively charged and that means that when I move near the fire, the plasma of the fire, the main bulk of the mass of it is going to be positively charged ions. And so those ions are going to move away from my finger. So basically wherever my finger goes, the fire is gonna move away from it. Okay, so let's see if we can actually control fire with my finger. So just as a control, you can see what it looks like when I bring my finger towards it normally. You can see it definitely doesn't move away from my finger. So it's not a wind effect or anything that you're gonna see here. You can see the flame doesn't even move when I bring my finger near it. But now watch what happens when I charge myself.
It's like I'm blowing on it, but I'm not. Look at it move away from my finger. <laughs> when I try to bring it close to it, it just moves away. It won't burn me. Okay, now let's do it the opposite way where I'm attached to the negative electrode. So now it's going to actually be attracted to my finger. So this one I'm a little bit more scared to do. <laughs> See what happens. Okay, let's light it. Okay, here we go. Ouch. Look how it stretches out the flame when I come near it. Ouch. Wow, the heat just comes towards me. It just burns my finger even when the flame's not there because the heat's still coming towards me. And the other one, even when my finger was really close, it didn't burn me. Ouch. Okay, so that's how you manipulate fire, by charging yourself with really high voltages. Once you charge yourself with significant voltages, you can actually change the way that fire acts around you. You can either attract it or repel it from you. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to subscribe. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.